Hello, hello. It looks like I'm, yeah, it looks like I'm live and ready to go. Hello, hello, friends. I am uh, excited. I'm excited to make a um, fabric pumpkin with you tonight. And I know there's been lots of pumpkins being made. I like you have been watching everyone. And um, I have my own little uh, way of making these pumpkins and it's been a long time since I've shared with you. Um, I did uh, make one in um, the um, Royal um, Royal Funky Junk on Kathy's page here. I don't know, not too long ago. Hi, Tammy. Hey, nice to see you here. Um, yeah, not too long ago, maybe, I don't know, two weeks ago. And um, I, it was so much fun. That's the only one I'd made all year. So I just want to make another one. Um, I might do a couple. I don't know. We'll see. Not tonight, but I'm just going to do one tonight. And I thought I would just go live rather than just doing it all by myself. Um, I would go live. Hi, Sher uh, Shelly. Hello. I'm going to get my glasses, huh? Here we go. <laughs> uh, hi, Sandy. Hey, Marilyn. Hi, you guys. So um, I, I was at my friend Julie's house uh, this weekend, and <clears throat> she had emptied out her closet and found uh, all uh, piles of clothes that she didn't want anymore. And... So her daughter was going through all of it and I was just kind of sitting there enjoying the enjoying the visit. And um, anyway, she had this sweater from um, the Limited and it had a little metallic to it. And it's it's too small for me, but I really liked it. Um, it's it's um, just got some, I don't know, some gold. And I said, you know, that would make a great pumpkin if no one was going to do anything with it. Um, hi, you guys. So nice to see you. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Abigail and Dolores and Judy. Hi, you guys. Um, so nice of you to say hello. I know it's been a while. Uh, but anyway, so I, I just felt inspired to make another pumpkin. I, I should have ran up and grabbed the other one, but I did not. So I'm going to put you down here to where you can see my, um, my little work area here. And we're going to get started right away. So here we go. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is typically back years ago when I first started making these, I had like a round template. I would use a pizza pan or whatever. I cut all sorts of different sizes of um, circles out of cardboard. Um, hi, Sue. Hi, you guys. Hi, Marlene. And I decided that, you know, it, it doesn't need to be a perfect circle. So we're just going to start. Don't be afraid. Get to uh, Goodwill or go through your own closet, whatever you need to do um, to find something, whether you're just using fabric or whatever. I'm into the seam here. It's being a little tricky. And I usually go for a circle, but in this case, I want to get as much of it as I can. Um, hopefully you can see me here. So I'm just kind of going around here and I'm not even making a perfect circle. I'm going to show you what I have when I'm all done so you can see. Okay. And I think I'm going to leave the bottom of this because you're really not going to see it when I'm finished. So I'm going to save the rest of this sweater for another pumpkin. We can even cut the sleeves um, and make like a little pumpkin to go with it if we wanted to. Um, let me show you how to do that real quick. Just in case you're thinking, I have the perfect sweater. But I've used tablecloths and um, uh, blankets and um, just regular fabric. I've used curtain fabric. Um, I actually have a really cute pair of uh, white curtain. Like, no, they're like a creamy curtain with um, like a tan, real small little polka dot in my bedroom. And I'm getting ready to change them out. And they're the pinch pleat. So I was kind of thinking I might make pumpkins out of, or at least make myself one pumpkin. So anyway, let's cut this kind of in a circle. Again, it doesn't have to be a perfect circle, but this will make up a cute little one. I didn't know I was going to do this one, so we'll see where we end up um, as far as dressing it up. Let me just cut this little bit off and make it a little bit better of a circle here. There we go. So it's not a true circle, if you can see here. I'll try and put you down, which makes it impossible for me to see the um, comments. Uh, so 
Let me see if I can't try and try and keep up with them here. Hi, Danielle and Janet. Nice to see you guys. Hi, Kathy. Hey, Rhonda. Thank you for sharing, Rhonda. That's so nice. Hey, Sharon. Yes, it's been a while since I've been on here. So I'm so happy to see so many of you um, remember who I am. <laughs> so hello. <laughs> uh, okay, so this is the small one, and we'll see if we have time. Well, I mean, I don't have anything else to do if you guys don't. And then let me just show you, like, see how it's, almost like a, you know, a pizza crust that you've made. And it's not a perfect circle, but it's close enough. Like I could easily skinny this up and make it perfect, but it's really not necessary to do that. So I'm not gonna worry about it. So I have this nice circle here, circle-ish. And um, the next thing I'm going to, so yes, just the main thing, if you don't take anything else out of this part is just don't stress about making it, you know, a perfect circle. Um, just whack out something and, You'll be good to go. So the next thing I'm using is just some yarn. Um, let me see. I already had this threaded from Kathy's um, project. Let's see here. Well, it's it's just yarn. Like, you know, just it's just yarn. <laughs> like that. Okay, it's not any, it's nothing special. I just wanted something that when I really pull this pumpkin tight, it's not going to break. Okay, so um Hi, hi, Rhonda. So I just wanted something that wouldn't break. So the next important thing um, is that you get a needle like this. I want you to see how big this needle is, okay? And I got it in the embroidery section at Hobby Lobby. It's got a nice big hole. See the hole right there to put your um, string through? So that's, that is what's going to make this job so much easier. Hi, Terry. Hi, Nancy. So you're just going to start going in and out. I believe they call it a running stitch. I'm, I am no seamstress, trust me. And anyone who sews, you guys can make this as perfect as you want to, but it's not really necessary. You're just running some in and outs here, okay? And then I'm gonna take the time now and pull my thread, good. And I did tie a nice big knot at the end of it. So I'm gonna pull it good and tight, and then I'm going back in, in and out, up and down, however you want to, however you want to say it. Um, it's really is in and out, in and out. And I'm just poking this all the way around. Takes a minute. Um, I'm going to tell you that if you ever do this with a, uh, like a burlap fabric or a fabric that wants to fray out easily, you'll want to come down, you know, down in a little bit. Don't do it on the very edge because when you go to pull it, it'll, sh it'll not shred, but it'll like pull it, pull the string will pull itself out. So be mindful of your fabric. That's why I'm not going super close to the edge. If you can see, I'm kind of holding it back just a little bit. Okay, and we'll keep going. In and out, in and out, in and out. All the way around here. Doesn't take too long. If I have to sew, this is my kind of sewing. <laughs> it really, really is. Okay. So the the pumpkin that I made in Kathy's page on in her yeah on her page, I kind of need just a little something to set beside of it, and it was a much bigger one than this. Um, so this one I think will set really nicely with the other one. That one's just a little lonely looking. And if you remember, last year I believe I sold all, like almost all of my pumpkins to you guys um, in my live sale. So I didn't have a whole lot of them to put out. So I'm making my pumpkin a friend. And like I said, when I saw this fabric, I thought it would be the perfect pumpkin. So we're almost there. Hang in there with me, you guys, because the dressing it is the best part. This is the guts of it. This is the part that you would need to know um, to make one for yourself. It's not hard. It's just how did she do that? And now you can see how to do it. So, okay, let me pull this on through here. Okay, so I just went in and out and I almost made like, like a little purse, if you will, right? A little purse like we used to carry years and years ago. Okay, whoops, all right. Now let me see where I'm at here. 
yeah, I think I'm just right about to that. Yep, I'm right to my knot. So I'm in good shape that way. So I'm going to not pull it completely tight yet, but, but a little bit. Okay, then I have a box of um, Morning Glory Premium Polyester Fiber Fill. I buy it by five pound boxes um, and it's, I mean, I've made a couple of pumpkins out of here and I still have like plenty, right? You can see I still have plenty, plenty, okay? So what you're gonna do is just grab your, <laughs> grab your poly fiber fill <laughs> and start stuffing your pumpkin with it, okay? Hi, Julie. Oh, it's nice to be here. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, you guys. Hi, Chandra. Good. Well, I'm glad you're liking it already. So, okay, you can see how much I'm stuffing in here, and you're probably like, hi, Bridget. You're probably like, what? why are you putting so much in there? But I want my pumpkin to be, um, you know, fairly tight and hold its shape, and, you know, I'm going to be packing it away here in, a, what, two or three weeks, and It'll be packed away for a year, and I just want it to be, you know, full. So, okay, when you think you're done, just give it one more wad. <laughs> and then you're going to take your, um, your string, and this is why you use twine or something kind of, kind of a tougher string um, so that you can pull on it like this and get it really good. Hi, Shirley. Um, Okay, so I'm going to just keep pulling here until I think I've just about got it as tight as it will go. And then uh, I'm going to I'm going to do a loop through. I'm just going to just push it through wherever it wants to go there. And I'm going to push my needle through that little tiny loop. Okay. And it kind of makes kind of makes a knot. And then I think I'll just do that a couple more times. So I just push it through. And I have that loop, so I push my needle through the loop, pull it again, and I'll do one more time. Just whatever it takes to get your knot in there, and you sewers will know better than me for sure. And then I'm going to snip that off, and that's it. So remember, in the embroidery section, you can get the great big needle like that with the big head that you can fit jute or twine or this yarn or whatever string that you might have. Um, I've even done dental floss before. Um, it it breaks up a little bit, but it does pretty good. If you have, oh, I got stars. Hi, Connie, thank you for that. That's so sweet. Um, so yeah, I don't feel like I deserve them yet. <laughs> I know, but, but it'll be great and you'll love it. So, so thank you for the early, <laughs> early bird stars, right? Okay, so I'm just kind of adjusting my pumpkin, and look, we already have it. I wanted a little funky wonky, and that's just what it is, and I love the metallic. You can kind of see the metallic shimmer to it. It's not like a glitter, you know, a glitter pumpkin or anything, but it's super cute. Oh, Tara, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for sprinkling, Jeannie. You guys are so sweet. It's been a while since I've been here. I was hoping I'd still have some friends that hasn't forgotten me. Um, so, okay, I've got my pumpkin where I'm happy. If at this point, like, I feel, yeah, I, I might stuff just a little bit more in here. I feel like it can take, it can take a good bit more. So, look, you just keep stuffing, okay? Just keep stuffing. Just keep stuffing <laughs> until you get it where you feel like it's really, really good. Okay? And it, there's no, I, there's no, I can't tell you like, oh, it needs to be so much weight or whatever. It's just, you can keep stuffing for days. Like look, there's still holes. I can still get, I can still stuff a whole bunch, but I'm feeling better about that. So there's where we are right this minute. Oh, shoot. I'll tell you what else I wanted to do. <coughs> um, let me see. So for the stem, I always like to think about my stem too. The stem, like my bottles, when I do my bottles, whatever I use for the top of my bottle kind of sets the tone for the bottle. Um, oh, thank you, Connie. Hearts to you, friend. Send you some big hearts. Boom, boom. <laughs> so 
Anyway, it, the, picking your stem is kind of the personality of the pumpkin. Um, this part that we just did kind of goes away, and the, what we're going to do next is really um, going to go to bring it up to speed, up to where um, you know, up to where we can be proud of it, and up to where what people are going to be looking at. So. Typically, I use an old dried up pumpkin stem. So when you're done with your pumpkins this year, set them somewhere like out of the way, out by the fence or whatever, and let them rot out until you can break the stem off easily. Just It'll just pop right off in your hand. Then just take it and throw it in the garage or the barn or lay it on top of your fall decor box and let it dry out for you know, a month or whatever, let it dry so it doesn't mold in your storage box. And then just put it in a bag and put it in your box until next year. And you'll have real pumpkin stems, which I have in the room behind me, but I forgot to grab them because I'm not going to use a pumpkin stem. Um, but I do have a box of them. I also have <clears throat> a box of driftwood that whenever I go, um, we have three minutes to go. What do you mean? Do you mean we have three minutes to go? I'm here all night. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. Three minutes to go. Oh, you, maybe you have to be somewhere. You'll just have to catch the replay and see how this turns out then. Um, but anyway, so you can use driftwood pieces. So I love to like, look, see how cool, or like if you want a little chubster in there, you just have whatever you pick, if this one's cool. See how it takes on a different feeling with ever, whatever I put. Uh, there's a good one. Whatever I put in here, each piece kind of gives it its own personality. But what I thought I would do, um, I, I had painted this one for another pumpkin that I wanted to do. And I changed my, <laughs> I changed my mind. But I wanted to do a pumpkin and use a... Um, and not, not this fabric. Okay, so I planned on doing a pumpkin with you guys, but, oh, oh hi, Clara. Oh, I've missed you all. I'm so glad you're here. Uh, and, and yes, oh, hi, Kathy. So I'm so glad you guys are finding me. So anyway, I painted this out because when I was doing Kathy's project, I kind of regretted not having this painted and ready to go. Um, I had used a, um, did I do the old bedspread with her? Uh, I think I did. I think I just used an old, oh no, I used a tablecloth. I'll show you. It's right here. I used, 